Good day, guys. Um, to, in today's video, we're going to look at how to move property from one S log to the other, and there's going to be a bonus video that's going to be the reverse of it. Um, and not just the reverse because I was moving it from one S log, so I had to move it back to its original S log. And some people call it a property reassignment. So sometimes we need to be, to be very familiar with um the terms so how to move property how to uh, move property from one s log to the other and a whole lot so we're going to start with um we're going to start to work, do it on gcss and see how it goes so let's start let's begin so every time i i want to start from the the home page uh, put in your use menu, you hit it. So, property reassignment is under property management, right? So, you go to reassign property, which is right there, my go 311. That's the T code for property uh, reassigning property. So, I'm going to do something very um, different. Um, I wanted to um, put in an S, uh, what do we call it? Um, and a material number, but I actually need, had to go back and actually use, go to uh, the S look at which um, the item is to actually get the item, uh, the material number and use it. So this is what I'm going to do. This is one trick that in GCSS you can type in um, 4 slash O, then you put Zeus menu or the T code. If you know the T code, you put it in there, you open another window. So I'm using two screens, so I had to go to the other screen and bring it back. So this is the, the screen, I brought it back. Then I go, I go to, um, I go to sub and receipt. Then I go to the sub and receipt that has the item that I want to move. So I put in this, um, the S for, for for which the item um, is sitting in right now. Execute. Then I copy the S look, uh, the uh, material number. Always check the stock. The stock is a quantity. So how many you want to move uh, is going to be there. How many it has on the um, that S look is going to be there. So I copy and paste the material number. I put in your S look, the S look where you picked up the, the item from. Then you put in the S log which you're going to move the item to. Here, here is going to be my commanders and receipt. Then I put it right there. Then you put in the batch. One one good thing about this is um, if you want to change the batch for an item, you can change it right here. So if put in, if I put A here, if I put A and I put F at the other side, it will change to F. Right. Yeah, we're going to put in the reason for movement. The reason for movement is going to be 02. And we're going to look at the meaning of 02. So 02 means um, pro uh, property book change document. And that is why it's going to be 02. We're doing a property change. So it's going to be 02. Then we go to the batch, which already put over there. It's going to be on the transfer posting. So it's going to be A. Then go to the serial number. If you have already have the serial number, you can put in the serial number. But this is and there's going to be another way. So you go to hit the find. You can actually hit the find and find the serial number from that S log that you picking the item from. You hit, then you go to execute. Then automatically that serial number comes in. If there are more than one items for that item, you have to go in there and select and look for that serial number. Serial number. So now here we, we you hit check and it's gonna be down there. Document is okay. That means it's good to go, so you can post it. Now I'm, I'm going to move it back because that's not the original position. That's not the original so it should be in. So I'm going to move it back.
Okay, so this is how to move property from one slope to the other. And as usual, you need to actually know which slope the item is going to be in so that you can actually make it easy for yourself. You also, if you have the serial number, great. If you don't have, you can go look for the serial number uh, as you saw how I did it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching.